It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. Welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Campaign Mode on the PlayStation 5. Alright, so, evidence board time. The new evidence, end of the line, Michael Bell, Maniachi, CIA. The team heads to Cuba in order to commandeer the stolen green light nuke from Perseus. This is going to be... This is going to be uh, a, a pretty crazy episode, to say the least. So we got the photo of Perseus, the letter from Emerson Black, a photo of the airfield. Let's see. We got some more pieces of evidence. This pictures of a tactical nuke. Oh, man. This is a lot of evidence. A lot of evidence, man. Let's just get right into the mission. All right. So warning. They So they sent out a warning. Point of no return. You are about to hunt down Perseus in Cuba and will no longer have access to the evidence board. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, let's do this. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't going to happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. So I think this is it. I think this is it, man. This may be the last episode of campaign mode. End of the line. 30 miles south of Havana. March 13th, 1981. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Mark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All right. All Moving up. 
Gotta make sure nobody else gets on that gun. Their job. They love a reward. Want to try to get another gun? Spread out. Find that new. They've got close circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. all of a sudden stay sharp contact Fuck. is everyone all right bell sweep the mines <laughs> oh man. Finally grab that drink when this is over. Your persistence is admirable. That's not a no. Jesus, get a fucking room, you two. Oh.
<laughs> Lovely. This will come in handy. Get on the camera feeds, Bell. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor. Room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's Help. move. Take you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. I hate MGs. Canvas the room. Hastings, stop talking. <gasps> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to Greenlight. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. 
Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low! It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Oh, oh. And we'll get a shit ton of reinforcements we'll circling in the compound. My legs! Contact in T minus ten. Nine. No! Intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. 
you need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Oh, man. Can't save everybody. Come on. A little further. Sims, get the gurney. Dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping the persons. No more half acid. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Directly into the brain? Not sure I can watch this. Damn, with the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Wish there was another way. You got this, Bell. Uh, Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Ouch! Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16.
It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Alright, I just figured out why I thought I was stuck here because I'm supposed to kneel down. I would definitely fail out of war. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents.
gas bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Ready to go. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Dang it.
Is that everybody? The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Horrible at being stealth. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. I thought it was somewhere on the other side. You followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Did you just disappear? Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. He stored up a hornet's nest. Need chopper support ASAP. Roger that. Chopper is down. ETA two minutes. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report.
That's trippy. That's trippy. Oh, come on. No, don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck. Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here you go. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. I think I'm seeing things, but it looks like a whole bunch of hems shooting me. Oh, it was. <laughs> wow. That's trippy. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. allies were pinned down on a ridge, you readied your sniper rifle to assist. We 
got eyes in the sky ready to deliver. Roger, here we come. Get your people back and head down. Inside the house hit by Napalm, you find a hidden bunker. Oh, ho, ho. Lazar, give Bell another injection. I don't know. Do it now. Those are some serious convulsions. Someone do something. Oh. Oh no. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. This is like a dream, one of them dreams that you have when. Hey, here we go. Here we go, finally. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. Okay. survive another round you're asking me do it we're not leaving empty-handed script 17 ready bell you've got a job to do oh my god skip ahead next time thank god the bunker door was right there at the ruins bell you went in. 
Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. That's how it started. Okay. Okay. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. See, where is Perseus? Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you are one of them. We think Percy has cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. Yeah, another flashback. Let's just kill Perseus already. When the plane leaves traps on his stopping in Juba. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. Oh! This looks like... I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. No. We were there. We found you after everything went down. So I worked for Perseus. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity. 
Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MKUltra program, though. They gave you new memories, things constructed out of others. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work for you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light, we will detonate them all for the safety of Sobolevsky. The this is your chance to find out who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of the Solovetsky. I had to. Get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. I like all the choices. Here we go. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. Here it is, man. Them graphics look killer. The final countdown, March 15th, 1981. Let's do it. Coming up on your right. Belikov really came through in the Soviet armor. Long time you caught up, boys. No way I'm missing this. Motherfuckers are gonna pay for Ice and Park. Look at your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. That baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes back before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air.
Oh, finally! Finally! I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It literally took me 30 times to get past that part. Oh, man. I'm just glad I got past that towers part. That took me, I'm not even gonna get to you guys like 30 times. It's impossible on this difficulty that I'm playing on. It is impossible. Oh, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Okay. I got you. I did not. <laughs> All right. Damn it, I'm reloading the same time. Coming back on. Adler, you see this? Woods, we're 
to bomb strike. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Wow. We stopped them. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hand. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. 
President Reagan personally reached out to her family in her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Bell? Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Wow, what? What? Oh my god. That was a that was a really dope campaign. High intense. Oh man. Definitely it was difficult at times, I will say, but I definitely enjoyed it. Definitely looking forward to the, the next Call of Duty series that comes out. Oh man, I did not see that ending coming. To be honest with you guys, if they would have gave me a choice though, I would have killed him. I would have killed him. I would have turned on him. Oh man. But he got me before I could get him. I enjoyed the series. I hope you guys enjoyed campaign mode of Call of Duty Cold War on the PlayStation 5. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to every single episode. We had a lot of fun. But don't forget to stay subscribed to the channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button for me. We're starting Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We got NBA 2K21 as well as Spider-Man Miles Morales. Hey, it's all here on the Money Out Your Gaming channel. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next one.